Objection! Now then, Mr. Wright, let's hear your answer. Where was the witness when the murder took place? The only thing that makes sense was the challenge. Right? That's right. Miss Miney was at the scene of the crime. Order, order, order. That, why, that is... Mr. Phoenix, have you lost your mind? Yesterday's testimony established that the only the victim and the defendant were in the chamber when the channeling started. Yes, yes, that is correct. Please explain yourself, Mr. Wright. Simple. Mr. Miss Miney was hiding at the scene of the crime. <laughs> this <laughs> This <laughs> The box was behind the folding screen She was hiding inside But her ass almost got shot while she was inside <laughs> Okay Here, of course, behind the folding screen. Ah, don't let me say this again. Recall yesterday's testimony. There ain't no way anyone was hanging out behind the folding screen. She's so angry. Yes, see, you stupid jerk. Quit being so quick to put pin it on me, slime ball. Now, Miss Miney, one so young, shouldn't as you shouldn't be saying. Shut it, Gramps, as if you know exactly how I. F oh, look at her eyes. They're very much similar to her sister's. I'm sorry, look, like, looks like the pipe, pipe's, pipe's about to burst. Guess I should help, help it along. Oh, she's just her sister. She's her sister. They're the same person. They're the same person. Okay, I, 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 I hold it that they're the same person. One of them died, but... Did my battery die? No. Oh, no, this is a prompt. Shame. The witness was hiding behind the folding screen with the help of this. How you were able to hide yourself at the scene of the crime is very simple. You were hiding inside this box. Ah, shit. I missed my chance to screen cap the ghost, ghost, ghost ini. That tiny little box? No person could fit in that. Sorry, but your theory has already been disproved. Well, to disprove you when you when she was hiding from me. Again. But that clothing room was in the side room. Clo clothing box was in the side room, right? Which means it has nothing. Which means it has nothing to do with the murder at all. That's right. I was sleeping there, so I should know. That clothing box was there in the side room the whole time, except it wasn't. Do you think you can prove where the clothing box was at the scene of the crime? Yes. Seen the. Uh, da, 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 da. And now I present the piece of evidence that will prove the clothing box was at the scene of the crime when the murder took place. Once again... Take, take a look at this clothing box. You're so stupid as if there's any evidence in that old thing. No? I don't have the time for you to sit surprised. Sit there surprised. Hurry up and say it already. There's a hole about eight inches off the ground. Hmm, a hole about eight inches off the ground. Where have we heard that before? The folding screen it had a hole at the same height. That's right. I hope this has opened your eyes as to what happened. At the time of the shooting, the clothing box was sitting behind the folding screen, which is why the bullet from the pistol hit both the box and the folding screen. It went through the screen and then into the box. Miss Miney, you are hiding behind the folding screen, waiting for your chance. Yes, your chance. Yes, for your chance to kill Dr. Gray. So what you're saying, then Mr. Phoenix, what about this picture? Are you saying that the, the person in this photo is Miss Eeny Miney? Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, we're both on the same page. We both said the exact same thing at the exact same time. That's exactly what I'm saying. Miss Eeny Miney, you were hide hiding in this clothing box all along. And you wore a medium, medium's costume to masquerade as my affair. To 
masquerade as my affair. She had a plan from the very beginning. She would kill Dr. Gray and put pin the blame on my client. I can't stand to listen to any more of this foolishness. If that's the case, Mr. Phoenix Wright, then I have a proposition. This whole idea that the witness moved the clothing, clothing box to the crime scene, pretended to be the defendant, killed the victim, then fled the scene of the crime. It's not possible for one person to do that all by herself. Correct, it's not possible. For one person to do all the preparations, that is. How what? Uh, need I remind you, the foolish receive no mercy. Wait, Miss Von Karma, you said it yourself. It's not pos possible for one person, correct? What? You can't be serious. Miss Miney, you had an accomplice. I didn't need to do that. If it wasn't someone from Karine Village, you couldn't have gotten the costume, and if it wasn't someone from the Fey household, you, would have, you wouldn't have had the box to use. Morgan Fey? Isn't that the wonderful lady we just had, has a, had as a witness? Shoot a pit pearl? Leave her alone. Leave her alone, she's innocent in all of this. What do you have to say to this, Miss Miney? You shot Dr. Grey with your own two hands. Do you deny it? She did it. We got her. I think this is what really happened. She was being solid snake. In the, the murderer had planted herself at the scene of the crime long beforehand. Dressed in a medium's costume and wearing a wig, she pretended to be the defendant. And then the channeling started. The murderer crept silently towards the other two, the both of whom had their eyes closed. First, she drugged Maya Faye with a strong sleeping agent. Then she stabbed Dr. Gray with a knife. Next, she hid my client inside the clothing box. She did, she did that so she could take Maya's place and frame her for the crime. But that's when something unexpected happened. Unexpected? Yes. Bang. <laughs> Man said, call an ambulance, but not from me. <laughs> Dr. Gray was not actually dead. With the last of his strength, he fired a shot at his attacker. And that's why the hole in the folding screen was so low to the ground. The murderer then, then took the gun from Dr. Gray and finished it. After that, you and the other lady thought to break into the room? Yes, a gunshot is certainly something you wouldn't expect to hear, which is why, upon hearing the shots, we forced our way into the challenging chamber. Miss, Miss Miney, she immediately covered her own costume with blood and pretended to be Miss Miney Faye. But that sort of deception would, be, would have been easy to see through. Which is precisely why Miss Morgan Faye chased us out. Please leave this area to me. Go quickly and inform the police. Hurry before there are more victims here. What is one supposed to say? This is the real truth behind this murder. Yeah. <laughs> At a time like this. Oh, you simple minded fools. I'm sorry. Are you still by chance involving? When is it this time? Miss Von Karma, surely. Of course it was me. Do you really think someone of Von Karma blood would lose due to something this petty? I don't know. Your, fa your father did. What in the world? We're not done. Mr. Phoenix, right? You're. Phoenix needs to jump up at the table, man. Hey, look, just get that, get that little fucking rope away from my face. Um, your argument is flawed in one very crucial area. And that is, if 
this witness is the wrong murderer. Why would she go through all this trouble? Huh? Working together with a medium, pretending to be one, putting on this whole act, what reason would she have to do such foolish things? Yeah, that's right. That's exactly what I was going to say. Except it wasn't. Oh, and one other thing. Why would Miss Innie want to kill Dr. Gray? Where's her motive? Ah. Now we're, getting into, now we're getting into the heart of the matter. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to say too. Shut your mouth, Innie. A motive? I can't say she has no motive here. I have to think of a motive now. But it's a reason for wanting Dr. Gray dead. You already know. The reason you wanted Dr. Gray dead is this. Just as a th oh, what? Don't be stupid. No one has proved that Dr. Gray drugged my sister, right? Literally, you said it. And you say, and you want to say I wanted to take revenge based on nothing. What do you mean by that? See now, stupid gramps. Wait, hold on. Wait, I'm going to reload because I thought I failed it. Great, now even she's calling me by my full name. Uh, you think I did this to get revenge my, for my sister's death? Yes. Because through that accident, you suffered a lot of hurt and pain yourself. Don't be stupid. No one has proof that Dr. Gray drugged my sister, right? And you want to say I wanted to, and you want to say I wanted to take revenge based on nothing. What do you mean by that? See now, stupid gramps. Oh jeez. Now she's back to the I genuinely liked her when she was not being a ditz. Um, I'm like going to explain, so like, please listen, okay? It's been over half a year since I was dis discharged from the hospital. If I like wanted to get revenge, like I wouldn't have waited this long. And, um, um, and size, like the guy that thought of the spirit thing was like Dr. Gray. It was like total coincidence he asked me about it, you know? She's back to her airhead persona. She's also lying too. However, you see... Move that whip from my face. You failed to support your own theory. Why is she why is she curtsying? You did nothing. I think we have our answer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. What mean Miss Miney has stated is very true. The revenge plan is overly complicated and she has no motive in the first place. Furthermore, there is no reason for Miss Morgan Fay to cooperate with this plan. You don't even have truly any truly decisive pieces of evidence to demonstrate your point so many faults mr phoenix right you should probably really learn your place what happened i thought i had it for sure yeah same but something fell off there was no actual um, stupid like there was no like true breakdown of Eni's Eni character i hope you liked your slice of humble pie oh bitch Oh, bitch. All right, okay. Say less. Mia. Mia. Yeah. <laughs> Your Honor, please allow the defense one more minute, all right? You can't lose here. Have faith in yourself, Phoenix. Yes, it does sound like a ridiculously messed up plan for a murder. But you know, regardless that... But, but you know, regardless, that girl trained for this crime. Really? Listen, Phoenix, everything happens for a reason. There was a reason for why she had to kill Dr. Gray. And it's also the reason she had no choice but to kill him in this fashion. I am not totally confident here, but I know I must press on no matter what. Only you can do this now, Phoenix. I will show and substantiate the fact that Miss Miney had a motive. Too bad, you're too late. My cross-examination has already ended up. Shut the fuck up. Interesting. I'll let you have your chance, Mr. Phoenix, right? What? You're supposed to be on my side. A Von Karma only cares about the perfect win. As long as you have the will to fight, I will knock you down, Mr. Phoenix, right? And I don't care if you are my witness, so help me, I will throw you out of my way. <laughs> okay, this court will take a five minute recess. We will continue.
a cross examination after we reconvene. Well then, six hour stream, let's fucking go. It's been five hours, 20 minutes so far. Um, imagine thinking Von Karma gives a shit about you, right? Couldn't be me. Could not be me. Where's my Walter? Here we go. Is it really true about my aunt? Hold on a sec. I'm afraid so, Maya. There was no way Eni could have killed Dr. Gray by herself. Could be, could be you, Solidus. I believe it. I wholeheartedly believe it. That's terrible. Why would my aunt? Everything is going just as I predicted, for Mr. Phoenix. Right. Wasn't expecting to get a, a, a full front, like a front profile of Von, uh, Von Karma like this. I was actually quite surprised to see you like this, Miss Von Karma. Why are you doing this? Why, why are you trying to take revenge on Nick? Nick had nothing to do with what happened to your dad. He had everything to do with it. <laughs> Don't you have something better to be worrying about? Say your, your own situation. Looking down at me even though we're the same age. She's straight up taller than me as well. Are you done yet? You've caused me enough pain and suffering. Not yet. My goal is to defeat you and let the whole world know of your defeat. But even if you do that, you won't bring your father back. <laughs> Whatever. In the meantime, let's bring this match to its conclusion, and then we'll know who the and then we'll know who the real winner is. I feel like I'm in a I feel like I'm in a fucking Yu-Gi-Oh battle. <laughs> Court will now reconvene. Wait, damn, her daddy gone? I actually didn't know that. Yeah, not dead gone, just gone. Arrested. He was the, he, he, he was the he was the final boss of the last game. Not counting not counting case five. Um Eeny Miney and Dr. Grey. Oh jeez have only one point of connection and that is the car accident <laughs> so we caught a case gg free my mans no no Gee, what did what jeez what did von karma do? what did manfred von karma do did he get did he get the death did he get the death penalty because if so that's fucked It makes it it makes the situation way more interesting if he did get the death penalty. Because then that makes sense. Um Oh, it's assumed. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, no, Von Karma, Manfred Von Karma was like, Daddy, Dan, Daddy Karma was uh, the worst. The absolute worst. All right, please testify to this court uh, about your car accident last year. I thought you like wanting to ask about my motive. I don't see the point of bringing up the past. Miss Miney, if you please. Don't think it will do any good, but if you say so. Man did dirt and finna get murked. Jeez! <laughs> I didn't know that. So all those people are sent to their death. Damn. That's uh that's that's dark. That was like last year in May. Like something happened, really bad happened at like my sister's clinic around then. 
and then like the night of the accident my sis was totally driving totally tired while she was driving I was like totally pooped too so like I fell asleep in the passenger seat and like woke up because of a jolt and died Right, Young Phoenix the Executioner. Uh, it's the crux of how the final case in the third game works plot-wise. Hmm, fair. That makes sense, to be fair, since it's the... Since it's the uh... Because after, after Trials and Tribulations, it goes to Apollo Justice, right? Yes, let's talk about Dr. Grey Dragon, your sister. Those were merely rumours, baseless gossip. Yes. Mr. Wright, you may quit question the witness. Right. Now right now it's impossible to prove that Dr. Gray did in fact drug Miss Miley's sister. Yeah, which means I'll have to work work this from another angle. Alright, alright, let's go. That was like last year in May. Like something really bad had happened at like my sister's clinic around then. And like the night of the accident my sis was totally tired while she was driving i was like totally pooped too so like i fell asleep in the passenger seat i don't know why i'm reading it again as if i didn't actually there's gotta be some secrets seriously all right Hold it. my practice yeah like that was in may 2 like the thing with all the dying pages was like may 2nd accident was like on the 24th. Two accidents back to back. Do you assume it's just coincidence? My sis was like totally tired, that's so that's why, duh. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna press every statement. the malpractice incident where 14 patients died, correct? Yeah. What was the mistake? What was the cause of the, of the mistake? Like, I heard it was the, it was because the medicines got, like, mixed up. Was that the fault of your sister, Mimi Miney? Like, no way. Dr. Gray, like, wanted to blame my sis. That is, that incident has nothing to do with our murder here. Besides, the police report already documented that it was entirely Mimi Miney's fault. Which means, as far as the real facts are concerned, Mimi Miney was the one who made the mistake. But, like, it wasn't really my sis. And, like, the night of the six of the uh, She was totally tired. You mean exhausted? Uh, she had to talk to the police and was being investigated every day. It was a totally situ terrible situation. I'm like trying, saying like after every two words for her dialogue is getting so annoying. I'm like having to like mentally like filter <laughs> out the word like in her, in her dialogue. So then why didn't you ask to switch places? Huh? What are you talking about? I meant switch drivers. If your sister was so tired then you should have switched with her. True, true. Ah, uh, but I don't have a driver's license. This is news to me. I wasn't aware you didn't have your license, Miss Miney. Hmm. Miss Miney, please amend your testimony. Like, okay, anyway. I was like, totally pooped and I fell asleep. Duh, I'm gonna go away. I didn't have my, couldn't take over driving for her. I didn't react when she said she didn't have it. I didn't react. I was just like, you know what, let me stay quiet. Lie, go on, just lie. Go on, lie in my face because I know, I know. That you're a lying ass bitch. This was that was a lame lie just now. Uh, like, what do you mean? I know you had a license back then. This is a photo you took for the express purpose of getting a driver's license. What is the meaning of this, Miss Miney? That's right. Uh, yeah, I had like a license, but I didn't get it until after the accident. No, you had it. You had it at the time of the accident. Director Hottie, or the guy pretending to be him anyway, said so. Hearsay. Hearsay. Yes, that perverted fake clinic director. How did... 
No one cares. Witness, when did you receive a driver's license? Last November. November? The accident happened last May. That's half a year. That's a half a year lapse in time, Mr. Phoenix. Right? What the? That's what? At the time of the accident, Miss Miney did not have a driver's license. Cry and whip. My whip will accommodate. <laughs> Yo. Anyway, without a license, the witness and her sister could not have switched drivers. I'm like glad you get it, but even if I had my license, I don't think my sis would have, would have let me drive. Don't just stand there humming to yourself. Like you too, with the whip and the pain and the ow. Miss Miney, why do you think you would not have been allowed to drive anyway? That's because... I think this situation calls for a more detailed testimony. Miss Miney, if you please. Huh? How annoying. Sorry, I didn't mean to be mean. Hmm. I wouldn't be allowed. Like, around that time, I was, like, really getting close to my license. My sis was totally this big fan of cars and really valued them. She had just gotten this really shiny, bright red sports car. She would say things like, no way I'm getting a noob to drive my car. So uh, that's why I ended up in the passenger seat that night too. Hmm, I see, a bright red car for sports. Now then, the defense may question the witness. Hmm, I'm not terribly knowledgeable about cars, but... Like around that time, I was really close to getting my license. Alright, I want to see what they say at the end. There's something very big here. It's going to be hard to break apart such a natural sound of testimony. But we have to attack it, and by doing so, a flaw will show itself. It has to. You really think so? Believe. There is a path, I know it. <laughs> she, she almost sounded like a prophet for a second there. Right. What do you mean by really close? Like, I had one of those permit things, I think that's what they're called. Permit? Wow, the big, la the big name lawyer boy doesn't even know what a driver's permit is. Well, this lawyer never had a plan. Ignorance is to be whipped. What is with her? All she, all she said in the last few minutes is utter nonsense. That's true. Okay. She valued cars? How much would you say she valued her car? Well, she'd flip out like a drop of rain. And she would notice if someone touched the car door with dirty, dirty hands. In that case, why bother taking the car out of the garage ever? Why did she take such a special? Why did she take such special care of the car? How can you say that? It was a brand spanking new car. A new car. Like you wouldn't want it to get it dirty, wouldn't you, Mr. Lawyer? I would think that cars getting dirty is just another fact of life, but I guess people who really love cars think otherwise. Phoenix, try asking something of more significance, all right? Well, Miss Miney, what kind of car was it? It was a new car. Yeah. She had just gotten it from like, it was from the UK. Gang, gang. The UK, where those are both facilities. <laughs> Behave yourself, judge. And it was a really special model too. Was it a... Not a Royce, I don't know. Not a Rolls Royce. She had waited for a whole year for it to arrive. I guess her love of cars would be the next. Anna, please have the witness append what she just said to her testimony. You mean the part about it being a special import car? Yes. Well, if you like cars that much, that's not my point. Hold it. Uh, yeah, I'll hold it, but pretty forcefully, but I don't actually know what to ask about cars. Ask for the heck of it. Yeah, let's fucking go. Why are British cars good? Like, huh? They're expensive and their driver's seat is opposite. <gasps> when I was in Florida, I would always sit on the right. <gasps> okay, there it is. That sleek shape, the purr of the engine, the wild way it starts. She's her sister. That, that's me. This is Mimi. We're speaking to Mimi right now.
<laughs> like as soon as I saw he said something about the, the, the seats being on the opposite sides, I like literally had like a that's a raven moment, but to the past. Because um, when I was in Florida, my ex would drive, drive us around all the time and I, I was like, wait, but which side of the car was I sitting at? Always the right side. I spent so much time in that car, <laughs> like hours in that car. So I would remember I was, I was always sitting on the right side. I remember like when I would go back into a car back here in the UK, I would go to the driver's seat and I'm like, oh, wait, no, I'm still used to being in a car like all the time in Florida. What's this policy in swears, by the way? Um, swears are okay, just not, don't, don't be, don't, don't be super, super like bad and excessive. But swears are okay, like saying that hat is fucked is fine. <laughs> just, um, just don't be inflammatory with it, that's all. <laughs> uh, what was I Okay, cool. Alright, wait, 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 there's a part. Okay. I wanna press this one. Uh, that was when the accident occurred, right? Yes. I immediately missed his Alright, I know what to I know I know the line I know the line of questioning questioning I should be going for. But I've got to figure out where I got where I have to attack her. Was your sister good at driving? She was, like, totally awesome. She said she was going to be the racing queen of the nursing world. Somehow I think she bumped my question off track again. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Yeah, thank you. Look, I know I, I'm, I'm sure I have the evidence, but nothing says anything specific about uh, the right door. But yeah, it was, it was in there. Yeah. I want to say... If it's not this one, then it's the other one. Okay, cool. Miss Miney, do you remember this article? It's an accident. It's an article about the accident. You had said it. You had said this in it. But I opened the right door and got out. That's correct, isn't it? Why are you suddenly asking me about that, Your Honor? Which side is the passenger seat? The left or the right? Well, it's the right side, of course, because the driver's on the left side. That would be if it were an American car, but it would be the opposite in a British car. The two of them are riding in a British car. In that case, the passenger side would be the left side. 
What do you mean by this? Miss Miney, you said that you had escaped using the right side of the door. Right door of the car. But if you were sitting there, that means you were in the driver's seat. Order, order in the court. Mr. Phoenix is blabbering nonsense again. Eni said the person who was driving was her older sister, Mimi Miney. That is what Eni said, yes, but that is but that is where her story falls apart. Somewhere, all of us made a big error in our assumptions. Phoenix, it looks like you finally found the real root of this murder. If you connect all the dots, there can only be one answer. I'd like to ask a question to the court. Eni or Mimi? <laughs> Eni, Mimi, Miney, Mo. Who was really driving that night? No. Eni, of course. Why would you say that? Eni just said so herself in the testimony. She said that she escaped the car from the right side door, which would have been where the driver's seat was. I'm inclined to feel sorry for the foolish for a foolish fool who foolishly spends his time foolishly. At that time, Miss Eni Eeny Miney had not received her driver's license. And that is why the accident happened. Hold it, Phoenix. It looks like you still don't see the real truth behind the accident. The real truth? Think outside the box. I think my I think my crackpot theory is gonna about to come true. All right, one more time. If you can connect to the box, give me one answer. The answer is the one person who had a driver's license, Mimi Miney. After all, that makes her the only person who could legally drive. But you just said the witness, Miss Amy Miney, was the one in the driver's seat, which leads us to the next question. The next question? Who is the person standing at the witness stand right now? <laughs> What sort of idiotic ruse is this, Mr. Phoenix, right? This is the, wit the witness's name. The witness's name is... I'll tell you what her name really is. This witness's real name is... I fucking called it! Fucking called it! I fucking called it! <laughs> all, all, of the, all the foolish dribble. And then, how do you explain her appearance? This witness had severe facial burns when she was admitted into the hospital. So for the purpose of facial reconstructions, the surgeons used a picture. A picture of her sister. <laughs> so I was actually thinking about, so how much of my theory was actually 100% correct? How much of my theory was correct, right? How much percentage? Actually 100% fucking correct. I fucking called it. <laughs> Boy. Oh, that's why she got pissed about the age question. Did she? I don't remember that. <laughs> I have never fucking got something correct on a crackpot theory before. Oh man, like a hundred percent correct. Fucking called it <laughs> time ago. <laughs> you f I freaked out when you figured it out so quickly. <laughs> like it made sense at the time, but I wasn't confident because I know how like how wild this game can spin things. But like... I was wrong when I said they were the same person, right? Um... They're not the same, was I, said, I think at first I said they were the same person. And that's why her eyes are always closed. Mmm, there we go, there we go, that's probably it, yeah. Um... But I was thinking... What was I yeah, I said, oh, they're the same person. I was like, no, I think Mimi is her. Like, no, I, no, I said Eni is her, sorry. But then I said, no, Mimi is her. Or something, one way or the other. Either way, yeah, 100% fucking correct. <laughs> yeah, love it. That's what everyone thought. However, that was not the case. The body they found at the crash site. That was the body of the real Mimi Miney. Isn't that right, Miss Mimi Miney? You see now, so you can see that her her name for the text box is uh, correct. I'm sorry, Mimi Miney. I hate Mimi Miney. No, yeah, her the, the text box for her name is wrong. Face and was reborn as Eni. 
With this, she effectively erased Mimi Miney from existence. Your Honor, I'm sure you can now see why Mimi had to kill Dr. Gray. What do you mean? What is the meaning of this nonsense? Dr. Gray wanted to call back the spirit of a dead person. But there was no spirit to call. <gasps> there was no spirit to call. Because she was, alive, she was alive and well. So it would not have worked. Which means she, she would have known that she's not dead. Specifically, the spirit of the nurse that died in the crash, Mimi Miner. However, that would not have been possible because Mimi Miner was still, in fact, alive. And that fact would have been discovered had the channeling had been conducted. So this witness had to stop that from happening at all costs. And, and, and that's why she had to kill Dr. Turner Gray, is that what you're saying? Yes. Before the channeling, Dr. Gray had the misfortune of consulting this witness about communicating with the dead. And in that moment, his fate was sealed. Well, Miss Amy, I mean, whoa, what did you, why did you say my name just now? Looks like I've been unmasked. Witness? Uh, is that the rags of a fucking hat? <laughs> That's right, I admit it. My real name is Mimi Miney. That quack doctor, he got what he deserved in the end. And I was so close to finally ditching Mimi too. So close. But why? Why would you go so far as to throw away yourself? To become your own sister? I think I understand why. Mimi Miney wanted her old self to, to disappear because of... This. That's about the malpractice entity. Dr. Gray was right. The mistake was caused by the nurse. A nurse by the name of Mimi Miney, that's right. The person standing before us today. And a few weeks after this mishap, Mimi Miney had a car accident in which she lost her younger sister. The timing couldn't have been worse. 14 patients dying in the, that incident and her own sister's life extinguished. It was only too much to bear. I found a way for myself to escape it all. The only way? She lost everything in the flames of that accident. Her sister and even her own face. This was her last chance. Her last chance to throw away her past and start a new life as her sister. Unbelievable. A plan beyond my wildest imagination. That jack. If only you hadn't thought of that channeling mumbo jumbo. Mumbo jumbo. Becoming Innie has been the most horrible experience in the world. I fucking bet. Spirit channeling? The occult? I hate it. I hate it all. I believe there are still there are still a few unsolved riddles here, such as why did Miss Miney try choose to go with such, such a complicated plan, and why did Miss Morgan Fay agree to help her execute it? Regardless, I believe one thing has been made crystal clear: the innocence of the defendant Maya Fay. This, this is preposterous. I, I'm perfect. Me, Francisco Von Karma. I'm going to enjoy the news tonight, Miss Von Karma. How about you? It's going to be broadcast all over the world, right? Your defeat, then. Oh, bitch. Yo, stop. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I would have yelled, but it's late. But, Your Honor, I request... Not only that she be held in contempt of court, I request for the motion of her disbarment immediately. <laughs> this court is a fraud, a sham. Oh, she's actually, actually just a real brat. Now then, looks like there will be some time before Mr. Wright regains some consciousness, so I will go ahead and pronounce the verdict. We did it. One brain cell squad, let's fucking go. <laughs> oh god, that was wild, man. Oh. 
Congratulations, Maya. Bless. It's good to see you, Maya. How are you doing? Miss? Oh, this is true. She's, she's only ever channeled me. She's never actually seen anyone else channel her. So this is nice. Oh, this is nice. Oh. <laughs> One lucky brain cell cracked for three case three hours ago. Got to change their head placement, Maya. Maya does not need to change a thing. Where her head is is perfect. Literally, yeah, this is the first time Maya has seen Mia since her death. No, you didn't. It was all just a dream. A really bad dream. You know, sis, in my dream, I've smelled a really familiar scent. Familiar scent? It was coming from that clothing box, right? That box. That was the box you used to store your clothes in a long time ago. That's right. Hmm. There's something I don't st still don't quite get. What would have happened if Mimi hadn't shot Mr. Grey? I mean, we broke in because we heard a gunshot. I think Mimi Miney had planned to open the door to the chamber herself, and then you and Lotta would have witnessed quite a scene. I possessed Maya Faye, who had just committed murder. She she had it planned down to the smallest detail, huh? Nick! Congrats, Maya. Thanks. Looks like you bailed me out of another jam. Well, you know. Don't make... What does that say? Battery to... Well, that's the end of the stream, guys. <laughs> it's terribly, terribly, terribly bad timing. So that case, huh? How was that? <laughs> um, this has been this has been a this has been a twelve hour sorry twelve hour six hour stream, more or less. Uh, and I am thankful and really appreciative. For all of you for sticking around for most of that. And thank you for clipping that. <laughs> uh so so. I can't even I can't even literally I literally can't even see the keyboard that I'm playing on. That was good.
com quem? I fucked it up. Anyway, okay. I think we're good um, for battery. They're still dying, but you can do it. I believe in you. Okay. <laughs> I really don't want something to happen like this ever again. I predict that you are going to be a suspect in yet another murder in the next game. You've got to keep the pattern going, right? I'm fine because I have you to help me out, Nick, but every time something happens, I lose someone special to me. First my sister, now my aunt. Hey Nick, tell me. Tell me why my aunt went and did something so horrible. Why would she help Mimi Mining with a plan like that? I just don't understand it. My, it's over. Why don't we just let it be? Nick, please, I need an answer. I, mean, I know why, I'm just trying to figure out. It's because of you? I don't get it. Yeah, me neither. Same. I'm just confused as you when she's one of the things. Oh, I got it wrong, and you don't get a, you don't get another chance. Well, oh, that's quite terrible. Date and time unknown. Detention center. Solitary confinement. My precious pal, you are the only one suitable to be the master of the Karine. Uh, dear child, I sacrificed the all, all for you. I hope that. Brainless nurse carry out her murder and cooperate with their whippy happy prosecute. So anyway, it was all to unseat that annoying witless main family girl, that Maya Fay. But I shall be patient, my dearest Pearl. Pearl, a chance will present itself. Your time will come. Well, don't don't mind that. Don't don't watch that. Don't mind that. Um, well, that looks like it's setting up for something either this game or the next game. 